We are in Excel 2013. I'm going to show you how to group and ungroup sections of data in both columns and rows. So let's go ahead and start with grouping columns. So we'll go ahead and choose the G, H, and I columns. And then we'll click on the Data tab at the top and then go over to Group. And now we see that it grouped these three together. You can also double click on it and it will make that go away, but they're still technically grouped. So we'll go ahead and click the plus so we'll show them again. Now let's do the same thing with rows. So we'll go over and highlight these rows and we'll choose group. And now we see the rows are grouped and the columns are grouped. And again, we can collapse that as well as we want. All right, now if we decide we no longer want to see these columns or rows grouped, then we can choose to ungroup them. Just again, highlight those particular ones. And go over and choose ungroup. So that's grouping and ungrouping in Microsoft Excel 2013.